when I see a picture and the first thing that comes to mind is, boy, I wish I had taken that one. Bingo, right to the credit. And what do you know? I can't begin to tell you how often it's Al Bellow. Uh, I met Al, you know, more than more than a decade ago, and and he's a huge boxing fan, and and I grew up in a town that that, that has uh, a lot of boxing in Youngstown, Ohio, and uh, and so we kind of started bonding over uh, Boom Boom Mancini, and yeah, m the memories of, of Al is, is 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 long, and kind of starts with really starts with boxing, which is one of his key areas of focus. Picture of James Harrison at Super Bowl. Um, against the Cardinals. Last second kind of interception, Harrison was a linebacker and ends up running the ball back 90 something yards and it just, Al just happened to be in the right spot and he just ran right at him. It's just a perfect frame of Harrison, the power of a linebacker running 100 yards and literally three Cardinals players just like hanging on his back. And Al gives himself and has always given himself the best shot at achieving world-class imagery through the planning. And when I think of that, I think of a, an image at the London Olympics of a diver emerging from the, from the high, high dive um, through what looks like a heart-shaped um, impression in the water. And while Al would admit himself, there's an element of luck in that image, but his planning, his positioning, the research he'd done into the remote technology for that, for that image created his own luck. And that's a special talent. You know, pictures don't lie. There's a point. Uh, there's a point at which you simply, the talk stops and you show the work. And his pictures are different. They're, they're imaginative. They're technically really well done. He seems to look at things. I mean, uh, take a look at his tennis pictures. He shot a tennis picture at the U.S. Open. I'm not even sure who's playing, but he did it two or three years ago. It's magnificent. All the elements in a good picture have to work, and he seems to get them all working. Then you look at his Olympic coverage. He's under the pool, he's in the water, under the swimmers. But it's one thing to get that angle, it's another thing to get great pictures. You know, there was an image he took at the, at the, this past Winter Olympics um, in cross-country skiing, and, and um, the winner of that race uh, just collapsed at the, at the end of the finish line. And Al was down at ground level in freezing cold weather, snow, but Al knew you know, how that race was going to unfold. He knew where to be. He knew the perspective he wanted to shoot it from. And he captured that image of, of that racer in complete exhaustion. Well, well he, he had a picture of me having a, a red towel over my head. I just, I just happened to have the towel on my head. Like, it was a great shot. The Amir Khan photo um, of the punch that, that was landed. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a, one of his great, great photos. Al stands out to me, really. He does some of his best work in that area. The other one that comes to mind, which I know a lot of people always refer to when it comes to Al, is that catch by Odell Beckham Jr. Al had been visualizing that catch for months, if not years. And so when it finally happened, it was his appreciation of the ability of Beckham Jr., the athlete, to be able to pull that off that enabled him to, to actually execute through his, his talent as a photographer. Al, congratulations, you deserve it. You're the best. You're the real deal. <laughs>